What's going on, everybody? This is Stubbs here from Retro Handhelds, and I went to Best Buy today, and I picked up a ROG Ally from Asus. Uh, this has been a long time coming. This finally is a handheld that's going to go neck and neck with the Steam Deck, outpace it. Uh, we're going to compare it today with the AYN Loki as well. And really, this is just going to be an unboxing video, a first impressions. I won't get into too much gameplay on this one, so stick around for, for more. But I wanted to give you guys just my thoughts on this. This is the first time I will have handled this device, uh, and I'm very excited to take a look and see what we've got. Might need the assistance of, of some scissors here. You know, when I was at Best Buy, I really thought that there would be more people in there in line freaking out, picking it up like it's a Nintendo Switch. But there was about maybe, I don't know, maybe three other people there. The box does look cool, doesn't it? Be knighted. Hey, Jeff, how's it going? Now, my main concern with this device here is just the fact that there are some QC issues I've seen. I've already seen Reddit posts where people are having uh, to RMA the device, and I really hope that's not the case here. Luckily, since I did get it at Best Buy, that's going to be a pretty easy return policy if there are issues. We got some QR codes. It's just telling you where you need to plug in your power and where the power button is. Thanks. That's good. What is this? Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, oh, they give you a little dock. Let's see if I can open this without hurting the box. Oh, cool. Oh, really? CFG Battle.net doesn't work on it? It's struggling. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I wasn't going to assume that we could play Diablo 4 in this, but I uh, was hoping. Well, that's kind of fun. So you can, you can kind of dock the device in here. All right. Here it is. Oh, this is a big boy. Yeah, let's check dead zones if we have time. Oh, I like the back. Look at that. That's kind of fun. Got a lot of plastic going on here. Download slow. Oh, got it. Wow. This is more comfortable than I thought it might be. I need to compare this directly to the Steam Deck and the, uh, the AWAN Loki. Loki Max, anyways. Let's see what else we got in the box. I like the plastic though on that. That feels really good so far. Nice big gone charger with the Asus ROG logo. Good to have. I'm sure the fast charging on this is gonna be pretty nice. Problem with x86 devices like this for being a handheld gaming platform is you're gonna have short battery life. So I hope that they have a decent and efficient uh, 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 setup here. It has a 40 watt hour battery. Warranty stuff. All right, so no frills. The box is nice though. Definitely A plus for presentation so far. Hey, Kent.
It doesn't come with a screen protector. That's one thing I wish it did. Uh, if we look at the specs before we dive in, just real quick on the box anyways. Looks like we got, uh, that, of course, that AMD Z1 Extreme storage, 512 gigabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD. That's nice. Uh, we have 16 gigs of onboard DDR5 RAM. Ooh, Wi-Fi 6E. Wi-Fi 6E is nice to have. Uh, Windows 11 Home. Okay, I want to run SteamOS on this, ultimately, maybe. Or Emu Deck. Emu Deck probably would, would work in a pinch for us to make it nice and easy to boot into. Uh, a 4-cell 40-watt-hour battery. Great. What do we see here? Oh... Oh, that feels pretty good. Kyle. Yeah, lots of uh, Asus related live streams today. I think Russ had one earlier, and but does it run Crisis? We're going to find out, Damien. Yeah, the D-pad feels really good. Oh, but not as good as the not as good as the Loki though. I don't know about that. I I spoke too soon actually. Oh, I don't love the pivot on that. Oh no. Okay, I got to dock a point for the D pad. <laughs> Is the battery big enough for the stubs I have? Yeah, maybe. Or the button's big enough. Hope so. Yeah, I don't love the travel. Oh, that D-pad is not good. Oh, that is not good. It, or maybe mine is just bad, but that... Oh, I don't like how that depresses. It's kind of like a cheap plastic, and it doesn't really... I'm having a hard time describing how bad this D-pad is. If you've seen the, the AOK Zoe, I guess it's kind of similar to that. It's not... If you want to do a D-pad right, look at the Loki. You have four actual directions here, not just a circle D-pad. And you can feel this nice pivot as you push on these. There, That's going to be accurate. That's going to be nice. Oh, no. Yeah, no, that's not going to do it for me, guys. Might need to mod that somehow. Okay, let's move on from that, though. Sticks. Okay, the sticks feel pretty good. They don't feel altogether different from the Loki's sticks. Well... Again, I'm having a hard time describing this. It's like you have lots of room to move the sticks. You have lots and lots of space here. Kind of like the Loki, but the Loki pivots around better and easier, and it doesn't it's so much smoother when it hits the contacts. I mean, you compare it to the uh, the big boy, the Steam Deck. Even the Steam Deck is better, and the Steam Deck, to me, to me, has not the best sticks. I actually had to put some silicon grease in here to get it to be smooth, and then I actually had to put a little ring, a little plastic or rubber band ring around the stick so that it wouldn't grind against the edges. <laughs> Stream over back to Best Buy for a return. <laughs> yeah, might be. True, don't pass judgment until you play a game. We, uh, that's just so far. I like that they included this little plastic dock, though. 
I mean, it's it's definitely just sort of a cheap insert plastic, but uh, it works. All right, sticks should be okay. Let's do these face buttons. I like, I love the look of the face buttons. Like, I love that color scheme. That's really fun. Definitely has that Xbox style look to it, but it has short travel. No, no real issue here. The, these appear to be needing some wear in. Like, you need to be able to kind of play them for a while, wear them in. And yes, we don't have, Danny, we don't have any track pads here. So we're going to have to do without on this. You're thinking about canceling? Yeah, you know. We'll see how we'll see how we do. This is just purely based before turning it on uh, what I think here. These buttons are serviceable. No issue there. Let's feel L1, R1. Clicky L1, R1. Reminiscent of maybe the Pow Kitty X fifty five. Well, no, that's unfair. That it's it's like uh, no real issue with the, with these actually. No, no, they they feel like they should be fine. It's not. I'm spoiled probably by INEO and AYN devices, but uh, it, they're they're fine. Um, L two R two feel good. Kind of feel like your standard analog trigger that you get on a lot of modern controllers like the ps5 or the xbox series x yeah those feel good yeah the sticks are the sticks feel okay we're gonna see it in practice the d-pad is the one thing though that throws red flags up for me face buttons are good up top we got power volume up and down looks like we have a proprietary port here for what must be the dedicated eGPU that you can plug into this that they have. And you actually have a micro SD card slot up here, so that's great for expansion and storage. 3.5 hel uh, headphone jack. On the back, we have this ROG logo and kind of fun sticker. We have M1 and M2, which these feel good. That's a good placement for them. Yeah, they feel good. I like that there's grippiness to the shoulder buttons. You can kind of see that. There's a little bit of grit texture to it. All right, let's turn it on. But not before. Wait a minute. Get the family together here. Expand. Yeah, it would look super clean in all black. So there you have it. A size comparison. Oh, my camera is not liking this right now. There you go. So Loki's on the smaller side. A little bit bigger. We got the... Asus Rogue Ally in the middle. Steam Deck up top here. Just feeling comfort-wise. Steam Deck still wins for ergonomics of all three of these. I mean, come on. It's perfectly shaped to the back of your hands. At least to the back of my hands. Love having the track pads. The joysticks being set in like this feel really, really comfortable. I have a little bit of a joystick add-on here, a riser. 
Face buttons feel so good on the Steam Deck. Uh, the D-pad, while not perfect in my eyes, uh, it's super serviceable. And it's in a good spot, ergonomically speaking. Perfectly fine, clicky L1, R1, and you have analog L2, R2, and then you have four function buttons on the back here. Well placed. This is the 512 model. But yeah, this, this wins all day long in ergonomics, but it is huge, and people want to know, can we get that level of gameplay in a smaller form factor? Well, that's where the AYN Loki comes in. This is the Loki Max, and this is my uh, review unit, and this is the retail model as far as I understand from AYN. So this thing I have been consistently impressed with since I've been using it in the last few days here. The D-pad on it is heavenly. The joysticks just glide and are smooth and so well made. The face buttons are kind of chiclet style and they have no issues with play or travel on them. L1 and R1 are more of a rubber membrane feel to them. And then L2, R2 feel really good and analog. About the same about the same as the, the ROG Ally. And on the back we have perfectly serviceable M1 and M2. But I mean, this is ergonomic feeling. And you have a bump out here. This one is too, though. You have a bump out here. I think that's necessary for a Windows gaming handheld that's going to be this big. Of course, you got a bigger screen on here, so you get more details. This is, probably isn't going in your pocket. Yeah, ergonomics-wise, Steam Deck is king. So, ah, you know what? I think if this joystick was a little bit set in like the Steam Decks and the D-pad was up here, this might be a little more comfortable. The face buttons are a little bit of a reach for my thumbs. I don't love, I don't love the ergonomics of this where they've placed things. Now this one has pretty much the same idea going on as the Ally, but since it's a smaller form factor with a smaller screen, everything's easier to reach. So yeah, Steam Deck, still the king of ergonomics. We're going to see what this one can do in gameplay and see how I feel about that, but uh, I, I, I got to give it to the Loki after that. So yeah, I think they pulled off ergonomics really well in this device for the placement of all the buttons. Loki is sweet to hold. It's the right, it's the right size. It feels strong in the hands. It feels not overly heavy. I forgot to mention yesterday in my nano live stream that the the nano actually, while being metal, isn't that heavy either. So weight is an important factor. And that's where this one feels good. The weight is well distributed on this. The weight is is there. You can feel it. It's definitely going to fall down and, and, and hit you if you let go. But the weight on the Steam Deck, you can feel even more. So I think I think the weight on this is really good. I do like the placement of the L1 and R1, though. I think that's ergonomics-wise. I think that's comfortable. I'm just not sure about this stick up here. And this D-pad, ouch. Ouch, this D-pad is tough to... Uh, I'm not sure about that. And again, the face button's just kind of funky placement. So this is their first product, their first gaming handheld. So I really think maybe in the Gen 2, I'm sure that they'll get some some customer feedback and make some improvements. I like that the vents up here are on either side. Let's do a quick... How to do a quick uh, vent smell test. Oh, that... Uh, it smells like uh, angry plastic. A little bit of Mountain Dew mixed in there. Maybe some Crush. Maybe some Crush soda, some Crush orange soda, some Fanta. And here's the other thing at Best Buy. They only sell Fanta soda, okay? They don't have Crush or Sunkist or any of the cool brands. If you want some Fanta, well, I'm sorry about that. 
please accept my shortcomings. But here's why this thing is so awesome and why I'm showing it today. Because it has the most powerful chipset available for any of these Windows handhelds. This is the ultimate in performance. That's what we've been seeing. Rocking that AMD Z1 Extreme processor. This thing will knock it out of the park for emulation, for AAA gaming. And so I'm sure we're going to be accepting some shortcomings. So I'm okay to look over a few of these things. We'll see what, we'll see if we even need to use the D-pad. I mean, you're gonna use the joystick for most things, but I really, really, really don't like this D-pad at all. That's right, Damien, three people do understand my soda reference. I don't even care. And we're gonna see how low TDP does. This one also didn't come with the carry case, so you can pick one up from Best Buy or from Amazon. Check out Russ's video that he just put out a few days ago on the Ally and some of the cases you can get for it. From Retro Game Core. But let's see what we got inside this thing. Turning it on. I said we're turning it on. Are we turning it on? Asus. Charge the device before sending it to be sold. Please. Please. Now I have to get the, the, the charger out. All right. Where is the charger? Raffle ally, <laughs> Team Pandori man has zero charge, or it's just dead on arrival. I've been excited for this one too. I wasn't initially; I was kind of skeptical. But oh, look at that! And there's a little, there's a little uh, fun foil effect going on on the side. So here's the USB C right there. I shouldn't have to do this as a consumer. I should not have to charge it from 0%. We've seen it before, but usually from really cheap AliExpress sellers. We're talking about a device here. We haven't even talked about the price. So this goes for... $699 at Best Buy. If you were to pre-order it early on and you had a Best Buy credit card, you could get it for as low as $625, which was cool. And they're going to release a lesser version of this in a few months that's going to be called uh, just the Z1, not the Z1 Extreme. That's going to be $599. But apparently there's such a disparity in performance between the two that it's really not worth it. Let's see. Oh, and we have life. Okay. Look at this bunched up cord, guys. Ugh. Blah. It's alive. That's right. Enhance. The cheaper Z1 model will be having the same exact body and everything. Just the chip is what's different, as far as I understand. There is kind of cool RGB. You know, if we turn off our lights, we can take a look at it.
To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. Good job, Mega Fan. Accessibility features. Press Windows plus U. There is wasted space. It's true. So here we have the Windows 11. And I'm going to take this off camera for a moment, lest you all know my secrets. Turn on, kill Tor kill Corkatana, kill. I'm going on day two of fighting this stupid head cold, so apologies on my voice. Please accept my shortcomings. Hey, Steve, can we run the banner? You can run production from up there. Thanks. I wouldn't call the man who lives in my attic God. I would call him possibly disturbed. Hey, Mike. Yeah, close OneDrive, kill Cortana. Don't set up Wi-Fi until after you go through setup. Oh, no. I did it again. I just did this on the Loki stream, too, didn't I? It's okay. I'm going to be connecting it to my Microsoft account anyways, eventually. I can't let him go. Not until, not until we've resolved the uh, unpleasantness. Am I holding a man who's afraid of water? Uh, trapped in my attic for hostage not for hostage but it, but he's does he live up there yes it's for his own good I've, I've explained this time and again no if i give him water he'll die that's the thing he only drinks gatorade at best what should we name the device ally super original do a little wipey poo. I wish it came with a screen protector. I'm going to have to go search out a screen protector. Any, anyone know any good screen protectors for this thing? Update Windows takes an hour. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Well, that's why I, 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 tempered, I tempered expectations today on this live stream description now. And I said, we will unbox it. We will size comparison it. We will give our thoughts. I might not necessarily play games today. I don't know if it's all depending on what kind of onboarding experience we're going to get here, which I've read is pretty poor. So I'm not holding my breath. So far, the right stick works. The left stick works. What happened to my lights here? Let's see. There we go. Okay, once again, we're going to skip this right now. Now, apparently the trick is you can put in a bad account and password.
and you can bypass this. putting in a bad password three times. Come on. Give me the option to just get into the device. Windows is not an ideal experience for a gaming handheld. Steam Deck, Switch, literally any other platform. This is the worst right now, as you all probably know. I'm actually going to have to sign in with a Microsoft account right now. This is why I shouldn't have turned on Wi-Fi. You all told me. I didn't listen. My own fault. <laughs> we tripped it successfully. <laughs> Better remember my bad password. Yeah, Battlefield 1. I love Battlefield 1. That's a great game. All right, my name? Stubbs. Password, of course, is going to be... Uh... Uh, poo poo pp -p. rh standard password poo poo pp doctor oh no a security questions ah, g -g 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 No. Oh, there's a fingerprint reader on this. Okay. Touch the power button. Touch it again. That's right. I'm a 38 year old man. I still say poo poo pee pee. Make sure your sensor is clean, it says. Oh, okay. Touch it again. Okay, add a pin, do this one uh, off camera as well. Sorry, everybody. Cumbersome setup. So excited until I went through this. Yeah, it kind of tempers your fun. No, I don't want you to have any of my diagnostic info, advertising ID, none of it. You don't want any of this stuff. Support and protection. Asus is going to provide me protection. My legal name is Stubbs. From RH. Stubbs. Do they have a dedicated keyboard key? I hope that's what one of those is. Otherwise, we're going to have to be learning all the short keys. Email. Stubs at retro 
dash. And Helds. Next. No. 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 Stop asking me all these questions. Protection. <laughs> I heard he's the end of the band alone. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Please be on every live stream. <laughs> Never heard that word before. Pinga. Hey, look at these. We get these fun LED colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <coughs> I'm sorry everybody I need to take care of myself and my handhelds and each other I'm dying right now <laughs> I am five years old hydrate good job So far, this thing makes me angry. <laughs> but let's test the sticks and whatnot and get past the Windows shenanigans. <laughs> Dark mode immediately. <laughs> Stop it. You stop. You're going to break this. You're going to break this stream. I can't focus with all the giggles. Hey, hey, I like their front end. Hey, look at this. It didn't go to the desktop. It it it, uh, it went into their their Asus front end and the launcher is nice looking and oh, OK. All right. We might be OK, everybody. We might be okay. Hey, oh, oh no, the oh no, the D pad has has false diagonals. <laughs> no, that's so freaking so bad. Why is it doing this? Oh no, why is it? it doesn't go in a straight line. Oh my god. These are simple things to check before shipping out a handheld. Oh no. The diagonals are false. Oh no. In a calibration. Why is this like this? Okay, I get myself together here. Uh, Bluetooth, all right. Turbo mode by default, I guess. We can also do silent, performance, Windows, whatever that means, I guess, for doing like Excel spreadsheets and whatnot. Game visual. Oh, that's cool. You can change the... Uh, the look of the panel, I guess. We'll try default. Where's just the simple brightness setting? What does this button do? Nah. Okay, it switches between the front end and windows. We, we need we need to turn on dark mode right now. Boom. Much better. Do you suffer from premature diagonals? 
Yeah. Hall effect. I I I don't think so. I don't I don't someone correct me if I'm I don't think so. I want to see what all these buttons do. What's this one do? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. What's this do? Oh, command center. That game console looks better than my girlfriend. <laughs> you know what, guys? This live stream was worth it just to have this conversation with you all. Like, regardless of this thing. Like, this thing is... It's pretty neat, but uh, I'm going to need to spend some time with it. There's the brightness. Uh, that's how that's how bright the panel gets, and uh, let's see how dim it gets. Not quite as dim as the Loki or the Steam Deck. It gets fairly bright, though. It looks pretty good. We get a real-time monitor. I'm sure that's going to be like stats. Yeah, it is. So we'll le let's leave that on for nerds. FPS limiter. That's cool. 30 FPS, 45, 60. Let's lock it at 60. I like 60. Refresh rate. By default, it, uh, it's 120 hertz. I'm going to call it good at 60 hertz right now. Save on the battery. But that's nice to know that we can do 120. Uh, AMD RSR. I'll have to look what that is. And resolution 1080p, 720p. Okay, we'll do we'll do 1080. Control mode, gamepad, desktop, or auto. We have some gaming profiles. Gamepad mode or desktop mode. Definitely want gamepad mode. And here you have Steam, you have Xbox. You have other game platforms, so you can... Oh, look at... This is what I was telling AYN the other day. I said it would be great when you booted up your device if you could have the installers ready to go. Epic Games, Steam, EA app. And look, Steam and Xbox is already installed. That's great. Ubisoft, GOG. Cool. Game Pass is updating. That's nice. They have the start menu by default hidden, so you can swipe up. I like that. See, that's a that's that's a nice thing out of the box. <laughs> Quit smacking them. What the sticks? Bad stick. Bad stick. I shouldn't be doing that on camera. <clears throat> Yeah, I think so, Team Team Retro. Good to see you. Sign in to claim. Oh, no. No, I don't want to test Game Pass right now. I'll do that in a follow-up video. You know what I, do? I want to do? I'm going to skip, like, Steam and everything. Let me just plug in my... Enjoy, Team Pandora, man. See you, Tim. Plug in my uh, handy-dandy emulation box now we need an SD card Anything you guys want to see in particular? Windows is never fun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just going to pop in just a 64 gig SD card. Just to try it. Oh, it's the American way. The SD card faces you when you put it in. It's always a nice, refreshing thing to see. And now I need my hard drive to be the uh, the E drive, so I got to swap these real quick. Okay. 
Changing the drive letter to G. Yeah. Thanks. Changing this one to E. And let's start up LaunchBox. I said, let's start up LaunchBox. The panel doesn't get that bright. I wish it got a little brighter. And you know what? I want to change the... Uh, what? No. No. Let's see. Where was that performance operating mode? Turbo. Where was that? Where was that dang screen optimizer thing? How do I... Okay, B is back. Yeah. Game visual, that's what I want. Oh, and we can change the lighting on here, I guess. So we can change it from Aura Sync, Aura Effects, Starry Night. That's fun. Strobing. Color Cycle. Breathing. Static. Dark. They all do the same thing. Nothing. They have no effect. I think I need to further investigate this. Oh, no. Dude, the false diagonals on the D-pad are driving me a little crazy right now. <laughs> don't use the D-pad. Just don't use the D-pad. That's just anything else is fine. We have different audio effects. Microphone mode. That's cool. You can switch between a cardioid mode, a stereo mode, omnidirectional mode. I can t already tell you that I, I do want to keep this handheld, but I think it's going to be one that grows on me over time. I'm going to have to learn it and understand it because I don't hate it, but it's possible if I have a bad D-pad, I'm going to RMA it. So there, there, there is that. Racing visuals, fine-tuned for fast-paced games. See, oh, my D-pad. Vivid. Which looks best to the camera? That's what I need to know. Scene. Racing. I think we want to do scenery. Let's try that. Oh, that looks awful. No. Cinema? FPS? No. Vivid. That looks pretty good. Yeah, you think scene looks good? Okay, we can do scene. Okay, now we don't need this anymore. We're in launch box. We're going to go to big box. Thanks, thanks launch box. Yeah. Mm, Windows. Task manager. Now we got to kill the process. I don't see launch box open. Yeah, we're good. Let's try opening it again. Hmm. 
that yeah <laughs> windows is such a bad experience on a handheld so bad why does no one talk about this why do no reviewers just talk about how atrocious windows is as an operating system on a gaming handheld especially one without trackpads or a dedicated keyboard please accept windows shortcomings now give me big box cpu we're at 32 percent load gpu one percent batteries at 73 percent we're at 92 celsius Ooh, heat gun Screen definitely is where it gets the hottest. Definitely cool where the fan outputs. Um, yeah, really Windows for setup. I mean, here's what you can do. Windows 11 is a bad experience and everything. Here's what you can do. You set up a front end like LaunchBox, Steam, the, the, the Asus. Oh, good. Oh, it's running on its... Oh, my. It's doing its own thing now. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what that was? That was just the... Uh, what do you call it? The randomizer. What do they, they call that? I think I have it set up to do this. I thought the joystick was being crazy. Sure, Star Wars Battle in Naboo is the first game we'll play on this. Fine. See, I don't I don't I don't love this this the scenery one for for games right now. I want to do I think I just want to do default. But yeah, you, you, you have a boot up in your favorite front end, you, as long as you don't have to interface with Windows ever. I'm talking about no antivirus managing, no updates managing, you know. Okay, good experience. But I would I would highly recommend installing something like, if you're emulation focused, put Jealous or Batisera on here. If you want to play Steam games, get SteamOS. If you do want to have Epic Games, you know, Battle.net, all the other platforms, and you want to do emulation, run Windows 11 or Windows 10, and then run something like Emu Deck to make it a little more streamlined. But for the love of God, if you just run this in desktop mode, I'm frightened for you. Frightened. Okay, battle on debut. Let's take a look, listen to these speakers. Ah. See, I'm so trained by the by Pow Kitty to have my my volume up on the left now. So now I'm all turned around.
So far, no sound. Uh, I think I just need to configure the controls. Hey, the sound works. Just not in the game. And the controls don't work, so gonna need to figure that one out. Okay, it's in it's in game mode now. Why no work? Please work. Okay. I'm in an emulation nightmare. Dreamcast over N64 for pod racing. You know what? Yeah, I think <clears throat> these should be mapped. On the Loki, the emulation just worked. Yeah, set control mode to gamepad. Okay, it is now. Let's, let's maybe restart. Let's not judge off the bat. We cannot judge everybody. We we cannot judge. You know what I want to play on this? I want to get that new McDonald's Grimace game. Temperature-wise, it's getting pretty warm. It's getting a little sweaty in back, but it's a nice matte plastic, and it's super matte, so it's not glossy at all, and it has these nice textured back areas to grab onto. So while it is getting very warm and slightly sweaty in the back here, at least there's no fingerprints. Loki wins in temperature so far as well, and the Steam Deck. Oh, now controls are working. Good call. I don't know why the sound isn't working in the game. I'll figure that out in a minute, but uh, let's go with this. Now that's pod racing. L1 and R1 are set to make the volume go up and down. Face buttons feel pretty good, though. And this joystick definitely is serviceable. Feels good. Uh, my thumb is bumping into this joy. The joystick placement on the right is not ideal. My thumb, it is a bigger thumb, mind you, but uh, it's actively pushing against it when I'm trying to hit the A button. You see that? So that's going to cause some false inputs there. They should have spaced this out a bit. <clears throat> Mission failed. Thank you. Um, how would one get out of here? I need a keyboard. How would how would one access a keyboard? Okay. Looks like I. Oh. Let's do some high-end emulation. Do some PS2. Kill zone. Thrill house. Not everyone has a thumb toe. It's true, Matt. 
and that, and I'm calling that out definitely. If you have a if you have a thumb toe. Oh, M plus D pad up, M. So the back, M plus D pad up. Hmm. Hmm. I've made it angry. There we go. Which is the M button? This? Oh, it doesn't work in launch box. Okay. Thanks, Big J. So, okay, so the front end is called Armory. That's nice to know. You can kill a lot of zones with this team, Retrogue. A lot of zones. It's going to be a lot of zone killing. Okay. I might need to configure PSX2. <laughs> Easily my jankiest live stream of the week, everybody. Glitchy, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to run PS2 emulation through RetroArch. That's my problem. That's a mistake. Right, I'm zone killer. You better watch out. Okay, this is a no. No. No, no. Does it have a sleep mode? Can you just tap the power button? Nice. Oh, and it meets and it meets you back with this nice. Okay, so you Put your finger there. Okay. All right. Now we're back in. Okay. We're going to close Retro Arch. Go back to Big Box. Thank you. All right. Let's compare it to the Loki. Oh no. Did I really set up Dolphin to run in RetroArch 2? Oh. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I, I promise you I'm not attempting to uh, do a hit piece on the on the rock ally I, I, I want to show it in its best light I just uh, this is why I said I didn't want to do gameplay on the, on the stream today so 
So we would want we would want to use standalone dolphin. You'd want to use emu deck. It'll set you up with what you want, what you what you need, with what you crave. You're not gonna want to run that like that at all. I'm scared to do any more of that. We're just gonna stick with safe PS1 right now, just so we can test out the buttons. And we'll do more. We'll do Steam gaming. We'll do other things with the device in follow-up videos. H, H, you're here. Yeah, your video. You'll you'll show us the good good. Yeah, we're gonna do some Twisted Metal too. That's right. That game can that game corner retro arch. Fastest handheld known demand right here. We're using it to play PS1. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, Zeno. It was running bad because I was trying to run GameCube in a RetroArch core, which is a poor experience unless you have like a 3060 Ti graphics card or better, um, which normally when I use this hard drive, it's plugged into the computer that has that. So I just have it set up for a much more powerful computer. How low of TDP can you go? Right, what TDP are we on? So let's go look at the, the uh, Armory Center, which I can't access right now. We'll, we'll try that in a second. Can I access it from the left? No, not while we're in here. The screen looks good, by the way. It's not picking up on camera, amazing. And I have lots of setup to do. Oh yeah, the Twisted Metal series. I saw that today. That looks really cool, actually. No issues with the Ally so far. My D-pad is janky, though. <clears throat> at least, at least I'm sensitive to the false diagonal issue. And the D-pad feels cheap and bad. Okay, I'm able to do jumps and special moves with the D-pad. I said I can do jumps. Come on. Oh. Okay, it works like every third time. The D-pad is not good. All right, the D-pad is just a flat-out fail on this, at least on my unit. It's it's missing some of my inputs. Up, up, left. Okay, we got it. Up, up, left. Yeah, you know what, guys? My D-pad test is Twisted Metal 2 because it's a game I just know the combos really innately and like left, right, up should be firing a freeze missile. Left, right, down fires my boomerang backwards. There we go. So the like the fourth time I tried that move, it worked. Okay, that worked. Left, right, up. Left, right, up. I love Twisted Metal. It's like one of my all-time favorite series, for sure. Down, down, left, I think is fire. Left, right, up. Left, right, up should be freeze. Yep. And then down, down, right, left. No, no, right, left, down. Okay, right, left, up is fire. Left, right, up is freeze. And then up, up, left is jump. So funny in this game, even though they released later iterations that had an actual jump button, I still attempt to, to press up, up, left when I just want to jump the car. I don't know. I don't know that I love this thing. So far, I like the Loki better, as far as a Windows handhelds go. 
Windows handheld goes. I still like the Steam Deck the best because it just works, even though I know it's less it's less powerful. Where are we at battery wise? We'll take a look at that too in a minute. Ace, yeah, you get to play with this. Dude, I'm just going to mail this right to you probably tomorrow. I don't know that I want to spend a ton of time with it right now. I, I still have Loki content I'm trying to work on. I have GP, a GPD Win 4 in for review that I need to get out. And then I'll circle back to the, uh, the ally. Maybe you mail it back to me. I'd love to get your honest. I want to see your review video, though. That's what I want to see. So that was a very, very short sort of game pay, gameplay test. I guess we should do some kind of FPS. But screw that. I'm going to I'm going to play my kids. I don't have my kids. All right, little Samson. Next best. I don't know why the sound's not working in the emulators. Figure that out later. Oh, the D-pad is not good. <laughs> the D-pad is not good. We're getting missed inputs. Oh, we're getting missed inputs. Oh, that is jank as hell. Oh, that is so jank. Oh. That... Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do this anymore. This is... I need to... Aisha, I think I'm going to have to return this to Best Buy and, and swap it out for another unit before I send you one. I can't imagine that's the D-pad experience that everyone's having. Uh, Mick Waller, FYI, I noticed that you're still under the old BIOS, firmware and whatnot. Make sure to update everything on my Asus, Armory, Crate, SE, AMD, and Windows. Apparently there's a performance boost. That's great. Okay. So before we do any more dedicated videos on this device, I will be and we will be updating the device. Make sure that it's up to snuff, the standard. Retro Tech Dad, didn't get any notifications you were on. Hi, everyone. Oh, hey, Rob. Yeah. You guys will see Rob on the podcast. Our next episode is going to be this Thursday. Um, I don't love the ally so far and I'm, I'm, I thought, I, I thought, I mean, from all the hype and everything I've been seeing. Yeah. Mine is really hot. This is hotter than the Loki way hotter than steam deck. Have a great night, Kyle. I'm about to end the stream in about two minutes anyways. But let's see what TDP we've been running at. I just need more time with this to sort of set it up. But yeah, my, my D-pad is for sure screwed up. Anyone know how I get to the TDP? Did, is that just the operating mode? Which apparently it's in silent mode. What? Oh, manual, that's what we want. So I'm seeing fan curves and CPU options. Okay, this must be the TDP here. We have three, a breakdown of three parts.
Yeah, mine was yours was dead too, Rob. Mine was dead too out of the box. Just like the Surface Duo. Silent mode means no fan. Probably why it's so hot. Yeah, probably. I don't know how long it was on that mode. The fan feels okay, though. Ugh. I'm done. I'm done evaluating this for right now. I, I, I'm going to take this back to Best Buy. And get this swapped out for a working D-pad. It's kind of a disappointment. That kind of bums me out. <clears throat> well, everybody... Thanks for watching my initial live stream here on the Asus Rogue Ally. We are not done yet. We're going to see what else it can do, send it to the other reviewers on our channel, um, update the firmware, get everything set up, get Steam set up, get Epic, get uh, Game Pass, everything top notch, try PS3 emulation, Switch emulation, uh, and then put it truly head to head against the other Windows handhelds. We commonly are a lower end budget handheld channel so getting into windows space take into consideration that we are not experts at least i'm not an expert on the gaming the windows gaming handhelds yet i like to focus on android and linux based devices so don't take my experience today as the end all be all of this device there's work to be done there's optimization to be done there are fun lights to configure so that's what i have to say stubs update everything before returning it yep gumby that's that'd be a really nice thing to do for the next person um if this one is not defective if it is i would hope they would take it back and send it back to be repaired um we need to we need a working unit to show this off that cannot be the d-pad that everyone is getting because that was a horrendous one of the worst d-pads i've ever experienced not just of windows handhelds either so Thanks, Team Retro, man. I, 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 I appreciate that. If you like this content, though, and you want to see more videos, we do these all the time. Subscribe for more. Tell your friends. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be seeing you guys on the next one. Thanks to our subs and our patrons. You guys are freaking awesome. I cannot believe you're with us every month doing all these things, hanging out with us. Come talk to us in our Discord. We have a fun patron marketplace now that... Uh, it's been going really well and get some extra discounts play some games but till next time this has been stubs with roger handhelds take care of your handhelds and each other bye-bye